everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today we're doing another air fryer recipe and I'm super excited to use my air fryer again because honestly, I use it pretty much three, four days a week. So I just don't film it as much as I use it because you guys would be sick of my air fryer by then. So today's recipe comes from Skinny Taste and it's supposed to be the perfect air fryer chicken. So I have gotten some feedback from a friend who actually got on this recipe before I did and she said it turned out great. So I cannot wait to give this a try. So I'm going to turn you around. We're gonna go ahead and get this first piece started because today we're gonna to start by brining the chicken. And if you're not sure what brining is, you're gonna actually soak the chicken in a salt water, salt water, I guess it's, <laughs> it's just salt water. So you're just going to um, soak it in salt water so that it absorbs some of the water and infuses with the chicken and it makes it much juicier, I guess is the non-technical, non technical term for that. So I'm going to turn around and get that started and then after that has technically what you would call like marinating but it's called brining. Then we're going to go ahead and throw some spices on it and get it into the air fryer. So stay tuned. I'm super excited about this recipe if you can't tell. So let's go. Okay so we have our chicken, our kosher salt, and I just have this large package of chicken and I'm going to go ahead and make three of these chicken breasts. What I'm doing is I'm just trimming the extra fat off of it with my kitchen shears. And I'm cutting now, the original recipe says to pound these chickens flat, you know, just pound each piece flat, you know, just so that they're uniform. But these, chi you know, this chicken's like huge. So instead of pounding it flat, I'm just cutting them in half to make them more uniform and they're pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good as far as thickness and such. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. I have three chicken breasts in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other three away for later. I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash here. And what we're supposed to do is add in six cups of water. Now my bowl is a little small, so I'm going to fill the bowl up as far as I can. And then I'm going to be adding Okay, so I'm not sure how loud my washing, you know, the washing of my hands was. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat some of this just in case it didn't come through and I'll try to cut it and splice it to where it makes sense. But I have my three chicken breasts in here and I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with water. Now it calls for six cups of water, but I'm sure once I have my chicken in here, I started talking as I'm filling it up again, so. Once I have my chicken in here, I'm not sure exactly if it's going to be six cups of water, but I'm going to say it's close enough. And then I'm going to measure out a fourth of a cup of kosher salt. Now I have a half cup, half cup, I can't talk today, measuring cup here. And just in case you are looking for that, it looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that salt in there. I'm going to cover it, put it in the fridge. And it says to let this soak or sit in the brine for at least one and a one, one to one and a half hours. So I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for a couple of hours until dinner time. And then once I pull that out, I'll come back to you and we'll finish up this recipe. Before I cut off, let me know in the comments if you've ever used a brine before. So if you've used it before, put brine in the comments. And if you've not put anything into a brine soak before, just say never brined. We'll kind of have some fun and see how many comments we get and see how many people have actually performed this type of prep on their, you know, on any meat before. Okay, so I have removed the chicken from the fridge. So we've got that there. I'm going to drain the water off of that and then we're going to pat down our chicken with paper towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then when I'm done with that, I will come back to you and we will start talking about how we're going to prepare the chicken to put it into our air fryer. Okay, so I have our chicken patted dry. The next thing that I did is I went ahead and mixed up our spices. Hopefully you can see that there. There we go. And what I did is I put three quarter teaspoon of salt and then added to that three quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, which is here. 
making sure I have that in the camera. Three quarter teaspoons of onion powder, half teaspoon of dried parsley. It's a big, big container, isn't it? A half teaspoon of smoked paprika. I just had regular paprika, so I just went ahead and used that. And then one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So I went ahead and mixed all that together and it looks like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on the chicken. Now I'm gonna do my chicken in two different batches because of the fact that the chicken breasts that I have are super large. The next thing it says to spritz with olive oil. I don't have olive oil, but I have a canola oil cooking spray, so I'm just going to go ahead and lightly spritz that. And then I'm going to place, I spritzed it, you guys didn't see it, sorry. Let me move you down just a bit. There we go, that's a little better. So I'm just gonna take the seasoning here and I'm going to top the chicken with the seasoning. Now I'm gonna leave enough so that I can do my next three pieces. I'm not sure how much room I have in here and I don't wanna overcrowd the chicken so it has time to, you know, it, there's enough room for it to cook through. So, all right, so I've got that on here. I'm going to get our spices out of the way and then we'll get to our air fryer and get this chicken started. I'm super excited. Like I said, I have heard so many good things about this chicken. I can't wait to give it a try for myself. So hang tight. Okay, so the instruction said to preheat your air fryer at 380 degrees, which I've done. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken in there. I'll pop this open. Should have a good view of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and place our chicken right inside there. Yeah, I think it was a good idea to do three at a time because again, these are, they're, they're kind of bigger, so definitely don't want to overcrowd it. All right, so we've got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. And then once it's cooked about half the time, which means about 10 minutes. Mine are a little thicker than hers were. So I'm gonna cook this about eight minutes and then I'll come back and we'll check it and we'll see where it's at before we turn it over. So here we go. Okay, let's check our chicken. Looks like it's coming along pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cook it just for a couple, I don't know, maybe we should turn it. What do you think? No, I'm gonna cook it a couple more minutes before we turn it. All right, so hang tight, we'll come back. Okay, now it's time to flip it. Kind of looks the same, but it looks a little better on my end. So I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle this apart. Turn it over. And that's what it looks like on the other side. Go ahead and pop this back in. Gonna cook it for another four to five minutes and then it should be done. I'm gonna see if I can find my thermometer and we'll test the temperature. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out now. It should be done. I can't tell because I don't have my thermometer. Please tell me you guys do that too. Just put lost in the comments if you do this as well as I do. Just lost because sometimes I lose things in my kitchen and I have no idea. Any other time that thing would be in my way every time I move it in the drawer, but today, nope. All right, so enough of complaining about my lost tools. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this and see if the juice is run clear, make sure it's done inside, and it looks good. And normally when you cut into something, it, it, you can feel when it's dry. This one doesn't feel dry. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a minute just to kind of rest out of the air fryer. I'm gonna get my other ones in and then I will come back and we're gonna try this out and see how they turned out. Look at that. They look absolutely delicious. And that's a good amount of chicken. I plan to use this for dinner tonight and I'm gonna pair that with some macaroni and cheese Yes, I said macaroni and cheese. Because of the fact that this chicken is zero smart points, I'm gonna have some green beans, which is zero smart points, so I can afford a seven point portion of macaroni and cheese for dinner. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these seasoned up. I'm gonna place them in the air fryer, and before I turn it back on, I will test, taste, taste, taste test this. 
and let you know my thoughts. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try and see if it is as juicy as they say. I'm cutting against the grain, so. All right. And I can tell you, it is Gina over at Skinny Taste. You knocked this out of the park again. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. I should do this, thumbs up. And I think that you should definitely give this one a try. So I'm going to side off from here. I'm gonna go ahead and make my plate so I can eat some dinner. And with that said, thanks so much for watching and let me know in the comments if you give this one a try. All right, so with that said, have a great day and we will see you next time.